everyone, Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Mixed Media Frenzy Friday. So today I am scraplifting that gorgeous layout that you saw at the front there. Just beautiful. And I'm using the Hey Hello Jen Hatfields collection. So I chose, the colours I chose to sort of colour match that was that beautiful sort of sea breeze teal colour light pink and then I really wanted like a yellowy mustardy type color so I didn't have one in my stash so I actually mixed some marigold Tim Ox uh, Distress Oxides uh, ink refills into some texture paste and I chose to mix it into texture paste a because the ink refills are quite runny and I didn't want to turn uh, a sort of more thinner based acrylic paint white acrylic paint really thin but also because I thought having a little bit more thickness like the the you can see there that the acrylic paint is super thin and just sort of spreads on super easy like butter I thought if I have two colors like that then the yellow in a sort of more thicker paste might have a really nice effect and a really nice dimension to the page so I'm gonna smooth on my teal and my pink and just trying to get different thicknesses with the lines obviously my base color is that teal so it's quite thick and then my other lines are a lot thinner but I really just want that sort of swoosh flow feel happening across the page that's sort of how I felt when I looked at the background of the other one that there's a lot of swoosh there and now I'm coming on in with my yellow again I wanted the yellow to um, have that more thickness to it and to be both thick and thin lines and I think it looked really really good I was really happy with this background I was really yeah impressed by it so once that is all finished um, and dry I'm ready to have a play with my photos now I also have a three photo layout just like the example and I've matted those already with um, a bit of magic forest paper actually or magical forest um, and then I've got a little bit of Heidi swap uh, ephemera just the tags and things are Heidi swap that I'm going to layer up behind my photos so this um, I'm not this clever this collection of different bits and pieces to say that I've got a bit of magical forest and a bit of Heidi swap and a bit of um hey hello jen hatfield i haven't just pulled that all from my stash i am not that clever this is my kidolix kit for the month of june i think is the kit that this one was for um so yes that was all the genius of the kidolix kits people that i am working with here um and it was just so gorgeous those little critters i thought would work really perfectly with my two boys dressed up in their easter bunny ears and tail so that's what I wanted to do so I pulled out a little bit of cream thread um, you're not really going to be able to tell if it's cream or white once it gets onto the page but it is cream and I'm just popping that on sticking out a little bit of the side of the photo and that's going to be a little bit of a cluster base there's going to be a cluster over there if you remember back to the first to the photo to the layout example there's a lot of floral happening on that example and i am all for florals even on boy layouts but i didn't really have many so i had to sort of think how i was going to uh, embellish this if i wanted to do florals or what else i was wanting to do and i just mentioned before that i really wanted to get some of those gorgeous critters on i thought they worked really really well with um the boys dressed up as the easter bunny so I really love those critters and I think they're so cute um, that I just wanted to use them all. So I think for some people critters might be hard to use because they're a little bit cutesy but because I've got young children they're just gorgeous. So uh, what I ended up doing was fussy cutting flowers off a, another piece of paper. So I believe I've done that off camera. I was uh, I must have been off checking something then. Oh, there's my title. So <laughs> really silly. That's not my entire, entire title. It's just part of my title. Um, they were literally the last four 
um, thickers left on a thicker sheet, XOXO. So I was like, that's it, I'm doing it. I'm putting them on this, this layout and then I'm throwing the packaging away because I am done. And it's really um, rewarding to finish off a thicker sheet. I don't think I've really done it much before. So that's why my title is XOXO. And then these are the thickers that I are uh, thickers, sorry. These are the florals that I'd fussy cut from a um, piece of paper from my kit. But I just want to make sure there's a bit sort of everywhere on each part and half of the photo. And I haven't really cut very many because I like this paper and I wanted to use it again for something else. Um, and a lot of the ones I've cut are a little bit bitsy. Um, they've got little bits missing and they're against a flat edge or what have you. So I'm trying to work out how to do the critters and where these little critters can go. And I'm really happy with how this is looking. So before it starts moving too much, I'm going to start popping it down. So I'm sticking some things flat to the page and other things I'm popping up, especially if they've got quite a decent amount of overlap on the photo, because obviously I want them to sit level with the photograph. Um, so working away here, laying everything out. So cute. So many corridors. Um, so this critter over on this side, the little cat, it's going to work perfectly because that flower has just a straight edge where it's been cut off, but the cat is also straight along um, it's torso where the sticker stops. So that's a perfect way to sort of layer those up together and it doesn't look strange, almost looks meant to be. And they're going to sit on top of that little um, string uh, thread cluster that I made earlier. I'm going to put this little flamingo on. I do find flamingos a little bit difficult to use. Um, they're a little, I don't know why they're more random than a raccoon, but apparently they are to me, to my cohesive brain. Uh, and I just thought this was the perfect place for it. It had, you know, it could go down along one side of the photo and up into the other to sort of make the photos flow together, just like the raccoon is doing by touching the two photos. And it just gives the photos a bit more um, connectedness. So then I had the three critters on, so I was happy with that because, you know, a nice uneven number. So I'm going to stick on my title and then I'm also going to add a, a small phrase title as well using some gold Kayser Craft alphabet stickers. Now it says, we love Easter Bunny and that is a sentence. But when I looked back on it later, 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 I really didn't like it without the. So I'm actually going to add we love the Easter Bunny. And uh, when you see the finished photos, that, that is now part of that. Um, so you saw me there having a play with my sheet of paper to work out where I could cut just one more little floral from. Uh, I didn't like the other side of Tom being um, vacant, being being empty. I felt like the way I've done this layout everywhere else has sort of got a surround of florals and this side needed to have one as well. I did like that little sticker, the cone flowers sticker, but I just wanted a little bit more of the floral paper too, just again to add that flow, that continuation. So now I've got an embellishment hat with the cat and the floral all the way smack up against the right hand side and then the cone and the floral all the way up against the left hand side so there's a really nice flow happening across the page so thank you so much for watching my video i hope you have enjoyed it i hope this has inspired you to go and get mixed media frenzied and have a really great day thanks everyone